Hi Aquarius, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy and you're safe. A few things before we start your reading. Uh, one, there will be a, an extended reading link below in the description box. If the reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is below as well. And then uh, lastly, there is a fundraiser uh, for Ukraine that I've started through YouTube. It's a nonprofit organization, um, and the money is all uh, sent through uh, YouTube through the donate button, which is below the video. And they distribute the money. It does not touch my hands. And um, I'm, I'm doing this fundraiser because I feel so badly for those people, okay, what's going on and everything. So um, I am going to personally donate 10% of what's collected up to $1,000. So um, any donation you can make is appreciated. No donation is too small. Even a dollar donation will go a long way collectively with the thousands of views I get on my channel. Okay. So with that, Aquarius, let's get started with your reading. Um, just want to also say thank you for all of your support, your likes, your shares. Uh, following me here on YouTube, it does help me grow and it also helps me connect with your energy. And so with that, we're pulling your messages here. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right. So I feel Aquarius, definitely feel there's somebody here on your mind. I feel that there, this may be a time where, you know, a lot of uh, maybe what has happened with your person, the good and the bad, um, you know, there's a lot of emotions here. And this is actually coming up a lot in the readings here. So I feel it has to do with the new moon in Virgo that we recently had. And we're kind of releasing the things, okay, that we don't need, okay? So it's a process, right? We process those emotions uh, and then we let it go and we release it here, okay? So it feels like there's uh, some feelings of the past here. So it can be you're just thinking of this person or it can be that uh, we'll see in your reading, okay? This person may come back around and kind of trigger those emotions for you. You also have here uh, number three, which is two threes here, okay? So if you're seeing synchronicities of three here, three can be a rebirth for me in that energy. So you have harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity, okay? So it can also be an energy that maybe you're feeling really productive, right? Maybe you're doing things to take your mind off of the situation. So it's a time where you're, you're, you may feel very productive and creative, okay? Uh, as well finding your own balance finding your own peace and happiness and then you have number 10 which is jewel within a teardrop appreciation spiritual and emotional reconnection okay so i feel like you're closing out a cycle doesn't mean that's the end of, of a situation with a particular person but i just feel in general this is um you know a, a, a cycle you've gone through right and you've grown from it and um, maybe even feeling more connected spiritually through uh, whatever you've gone through recently, okay? Being uh, more appreciative about what you have in your life other than just love. You know, I get that energy as well. Maybe you're, you're focusing your energy on other things at this time. So really, you know, it's good energy, right? Re to release, right? Those emotions to process them, okay, so whichever direction you're going in, whether you're moving towards new love or whether, you know, you still have hope about this situation that you're dealing with. So let's see what the energy uh, shows for you, Aquarius. Let's see what the energy is here for Aquarius, energy here for Aquarius. I feel like your intuition, they're showing me here, there's a star here in the third eye, I feel like your intuition is very on point right now as well. So know that. Okay. See what we got here. A lot of cards fell out. Okay. Give me just a moment here. Okay. 
So let's see what the energy is here for you, Aquarius. Okay. You know, um, sometimes I read it uh, from your person's perspective or your perspective. I really feel this is about you and your perspective here. Um, give me just a moment. I get here Sagittari or Sagittarius, Aquarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? You know, I, I really get just a very powerful energy from you, Aquarius. Like, you know, you're standing in your power here. You're knowing your worth, right? Or you're finding your worth here. You're finding your own peace, joy, and happiness. It feels like through processing these emotions here, you're definitely uh, trying to look at things in a more practical, I feel logical aspect here, okay? And I feel it's around, you know, this dove energy here, okay? Reaching for your happiness, okay, and peace is what I really feel that this cycle that you're going through is, right? As I said, I feel like you're very, very connected spiritually right now, okay? So you may be receiving uh, messages here from your higher self, even your, your ancestors here, okay? This also can be changes, okay, around your beliefs, your, you know, your values here that you, you may be making based on your beliefs and values. You also have here the Page of Swords and you have the Six of Cups. So with the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups, um, you know, definitely there's a soulmate energy here, you know, an energy here reminiscing, thinking of the past. This could be somebody who's spying on you, okay? Maybe uh, trying to figure out what you're doing at this time. We're gonna clarify. Now this could be you as well. Maybe you're, you're looking at this person's social media or you know maybe you're looking at some past photos or things with this person you know definitely there's a resurface here right remembrance okay reminiscing of the past um you know maybe doing some investigating okay so you or your person okay that could be you right we got air energy here we also have cancer scorpio pisces we have capricorn taurus virgo we have Gemini and we have Libra. We're going to clarify some of these cards. You have the Chariot and you have the Five of Swords, okay? I feel there is some sort of conflict, okay, between you and someone here, and that's why things aren't moving forward, okay? That's why things aren't moving forward. Um, something has to change in this situation, and we'll see uh, what that is when we clarify. You also have here the Six of Swords and you have the High Priestess, okay? So, you know, you have the five of swords there. Now you have the six of swords. And, the, and again, an energy here, something has to change for things to move forward, right? For you to find your peace and your happiness here, okay? Uh, you know, so I get the energy for some of you. This is, you know, you finding your own peace and your happiness, maybe moving on from a situation that didn't work out. And for others, you know, this could be that energy where you know this person's coming towards you okay and they know something has to change here but they're up in their head they're conflicted so we're gonna we're gonna clarify and see if we can find out what that is okay i'm i'm good with here with this queen of swords nine of pentacles i really feel that's about you right standing in your power knowing your worth here finding your own peace and happiness we're going to clarify the page of swords so we can hone in on that energy who that is why is the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups? Can indicate communication too, so we'll see. Why is the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups here, please? We have the Death card, strong Scorpio energy. We have the Lovers, strong Gemini energy. Wow, and the Star. Strong uh, Aquarius, your, your energy here, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Wow, and two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Quite a few major arcana cards here, okay? So you have the death card, you have the lovers, and you have the star card here, okay? 
Someone's still hopeful in the situation. I'm just going to say roles and energies can be reversed, so take it how it resonates with you. There's a strong connection between you and this person, and definitely I feel divine uh, guidance here, okay? And I feel that... Um, I feel like there could still be potential here in the situation. Now, if you've already decided that you want to move on, okay, there's an energy here of, you know, finding your balance, right, emotionally with this situation. It does feel like you and this person have equal, you have mutual feelings. Look at that. You have the two of cups and you have the six of cups. Okay, but it does also show there's some sort of struggle here. This could be drama, struggle, people getting in the way here. Okay, so something I feel could be blocking a new beginning here. All right, and maybe that's what you're investigating. Maybe that's what you're looking at. You also have the judgment card. Okay, so there is something unfinished I feel here in the past between you and this person. I do feel, whether it's you, whoever's doing the spine here, I feel is still hopeful that things could work out. Uh, let's clarify that chariot and the five of swords. Strong Cancerian energy, and we have air energy there. Why is the chariot and the five of swords here, please? Ooh. Okay, so we have here the queen of pentacles, which we have the nine of pentacles there. Oh, and nine of pentacles again, yeah, and the tower. Bottom of the deck, here we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Now I see. Now I see what's happening here. What's happening, Aquarius? Okay, remember I told you I feel like there's still hope here. There's still a connection here. You got the Knight of Cups and you have the Four of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with the Twin Flame. And you have the Ace of Wands. All right. Interesting energy. Okay, so this is going to be different for everybody here. You got a Knight of Cups. It could be dealing with a water sign. There is somebody coming towards you, right? Could be a new energy, right? A new opportunity here that very well could lead to a long-term commitment, uh, you know, or a relationship here with that Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. For some of you, I feel like it could be this person. Very well could be this person I see here, okay? But there is somebody I feel out of the blue here with this tower energy that you're not expecting to come towards you. Now, it could be this person, um, but it could be a new energy as well, okay? Uh, we have the queen. Oh, we need to put that back. Queen of Pentacles, the nine of Pentacles, and the tower, okay? I feel, uh, Aquarius, like by, you know, your energy is definitely coming across more confident, uh, you know, really abundant, right? Standing in your power, as I said before, you finding your own balance, maybe enjoying other things in life uh, other than, you know, you know, putting all your time and energy into somebody here where I feel like there was some sort of ending, okay? You think about this person, um, or they think about you, but I get the energy that there's definitely somebody coming towards you, okay? So I'm going to clarify. I'm going to pull this Knight of Cups here, and I'm going to clarify why the Knight of Cups is here. Let's see if this is a new energy. Is this a new energy, or is this uh, somebody here from the past? Is this new energy, or somebody here from the past? Let's see what we have. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. We have the King of Cups. Wow, the moon card, the king of pentacles. Okay, the two of pentacles. Yeah, I look at that. Before I even looked at the bottom of the deck, I, I felt that this is somebody you know, somebody from the past, somebody where there's unfinished business. I believe I said that earlier. Gosh, Aquarius, <laughs> I feel like you've been dealing with this person for quite some time. Okay, so... Let's go through this. There's that Nine of Cups. Okay, so you have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Moon card. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion here, um, a, an energy here of, you know, this is your person, okay? I talked about that Five of Swords, okay? They're scratching their head there. They know something's got to change. This is someone who I feel 
they're definitely feeling the loss without you, but this is someone I feel who has a hard time with their feelings, their emotions here. They don't wear their feelings and their emotions on their sleeve, okay? And you got the King of Pentacles and you got the Two of Pentacles. So you have somebody here, they're probably more about the material things in life, right? You know, maybe they have a lot of toys or, you know, they have, a you know, a lot of... Um, things that you know boost their ego okay maybe they work a lot um but this is someone i feel who is going back and forth okay about this situation there's definitely an imbalance here now you could be dealing with somebody who works a lot right somebody here um, maybe they put their time and energy into something else i also get this is someone where this may have been um, an on and off situation between you and this person here okay but I feel like this person, you're going to hear from this person here, okay? But I do feel like there's, you know, around stability, possibly here, around commitment here. I feel like this person, uh, they go back and forth, okay? Distance could be a, a factor here with the chariot. I'm just going to say you also have the judgment card here and you have the three of pentacles, yeah. This person's making the decision here to come towards you, okay, to uh, work on things here okay possibly to heal a past hurt all right let's clarify why the six of swords and the high priestess is here and after that we're going to look at okay the judgment fell out again we're going to look at what your person's thinking or feeling why is the six of swords and the high priestess here please okay we have the sun card strong leo we have the two of swords and we have the five of swords okay bottom of the deck here we have the three of cups all right so i feel aquarius um i feel like it will make you happy that this person comes back around but i also feel here your intuition um may make you feel a little bit conflicted okay um and I feel like it has to do with whatever, how things ended between you and this person, okay? Uh, this is my third party card. There could have been a third party involved. It doesn't have to be. Uh, third party doesn't necessarily mean another love. It can be any anything here, work situation, family, friends, what have you. But I feel here intuitively, you know that in order for things to work out and for the you and this person to reconcile, and also here for there to be growth and happiness, all right? I feel like there's an energy that you need to have clarity from this person. And you need to, this person, I feel, has been back and forth or indecisive here, or there could have been a third party, all right? And I feel intuitively here, this is where you're trying to find your peace, your joy, your happiness here. Leo energy as well. Okay, so let's look at now uh, what your person is thinking or feeling about you, okay? And then we can see where this is going. I feel this person's coming towards you, but their energy still feels like a little bit imbalanced or conflicted, okay? And, and I feel it's that energy around, you know, whether this, this connection will, you know, become stable, whether it's working towards a commitment. Let's see here. What is this person thinking or feeling about Aquarius? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. Look at that, and the Four of Wands. Could be dealing with a Twin Flame. You also have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So there may be a change here, right? Where this person is starting to see your worth, right? If you cut this person off, maybe you block them, maybe you said something to them, or, or maybe you just did your own thing. I feel it's working here because you have the nine of pentacles here. This is someone standing in their abundance, right? Standing in their abundance, very attractive, can take care of themselves, very independent. I see they're seeing you that way. Now you have the nine of pentacles, the ten of cups, and the four of wands. Okay, so I feel like they're coming towards you with some sort of message. And it feels really nice with that ten of cups and the four of wands. So it feels like this person wants to change things. They want to work towards this Ten of Cups and this Four of Wands. So I do feel like this person's coming back around. Now, they may be somebody who moves a bit slowly. I mean, it does feel like there is an imbalance here. 
This person is very conflicted emotionally, all right? But I also feel like you're conflicted a little bit here too. So we're going to see where this goes, Aquarius, in the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.